This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends, hope you are doing good. I'm back with a new topic that is Flow Designer. First, let us try to understand what is Flow Designer. If you know how to build a workflow, then this is a very good alternative to it. Now you can associate a flow to a catalog item instead of a workflow. So what kind of activities can be achieved using a flow designer? Uh, to name few, sending approvals to users or groups, push a record from one table to another without using script, send an email to user or group based on conditions, perform lookup of record without using client query, set values to currently created record, set values to currently updated record, and wait for conditions similar to what we have in a workflow. These are just few things. Lot many things can be achieved using Flow Designer. Using Flow Designer can eliminate the need of writing business rules to achieve certain tasks. What does a flow, a flow contain? Trigger and action. So a flow contains a trigger and actions. Trigger that specifies when to initiate the flow action that specify what activity to perform when the flow is initiated so let me share my screen we will take a small example of sending an email to a group when incident is updated i'm sharing my screen and uh, i have shared my screen hope you people can see it and i'll Go to my instance. This is my interest How to look at the designer. Simply type flow designer. Here you go. Click and you will be taken to a new tab. And this is how everything looks. So we already have many out of the box flows over here. PKGS and email. This is something I created as part of R&D. All right, let us right away create a new flow. New flow. It will ask you for a name. For now, let it be some custom name like Pankaj send email. All right, sounds good. We will submit it. And then let's see what does it show us. As I said, trigger and actions. Trigger means when to initiate the flow. Action means what to perform when this condition specified in the trigger is met. First, let us create a trigger. Click. As I said, record created record updated even we can attach a schedule we can make this flow run daily weekly monthly there are many such things right first of all let us take a small use case when an incident is updated then an email should be sent to the assigned micro saying the incident is updated and that's the reason I will select updated as the trigger. Now, if you see, it asks what table to use. Obviously, I'll say incident. Click. Now, we can add a condition over here. It is coming up. So, say short description. Short description. This is one of the fields present in the incident table. When it starts with a static text like send email, then perform something done we took the trigger we specified the trigger over here updated 
what is updated incident record and then what is the condition if the short description starts with send email then perform something what is that something click on done we have specified the trigger and now what to perform when this condition is met select an action see i click on action and we must have sent email over here see click and it displayed a lot many things now target record obviously the incident in picture correct we don't have to select any static value so we have something called data bill this is a data bill if i click on this see the current record that is being updated click the current incident record click select this target record is the incident record in picture currently the current record that is updated whom to send an email i want to trigger it dynamically i don't want to use static value click current records assignment group current records the record assignment group search over here here we go the email should be sent to the current assignment group of that incident cc bcc can be specified if we want subject for now let it be like incident updated and then what if i want to put some quick value over here on the right hand side we have data expand this incident record see we can put all these fields where is the short description do you see anywhere if yes let us drag it short description let us confirm if we have record update and then activity assignment group short description yeah click and drag we can drag it anywhere i will drag this to the subject click and put it in the, and this is how it looks and let the body be like this is a test mail sure and it's done click on done now what do we have a trigger and then action that is to be performed when this condition is met let us open back this we didn't specify one thing whom to send yeah we already specified to the assignment group cool now one more thing this will not perform anything until we activate it click and we have activated now this is live in the system so i will go back to the incident see as soon as it became active the deactivate button is visible we can see it at any point of time while troubleshooting we may deactivate it if we want all right and then let us go back to the first step i will search incident 
incident open take any existing incident that all right i will take 110 open coming up yes what is the short description ignore this message this is due to something i did in the last session ignore this so short description we specified the condition in the flow short description should start with send email all right and then if this condition is met during updation of the record in that case an email should be sent to the assignment group let it be like this whoever is present in the group will be notified about the incident update all right i'll click on save button okay caller let it be bushra it has been updated successfully now let us see who all are present ignore the message as i said it is of no use let us check who all are present in this group swapnil group control c and uh, duplicate and go to the groups i just want to confirm how many recipients are there in this group the email id otherwise the flow will take a halt Oops. it is coming up do we have it in the favorites yes swapnil group let us open how many members are there second tab that is group members there are two alia and manohar all right i'll go to the users and see if these two people have a valid email id go to the user table do you see alia anywhere first entry open yes it contains a valid email id that's my personal email id how about manohar go back manohar let us try to locate yeah here he goes and this is also one of my personal email id got it fine these two people have valid email id now let us check the email logs system logs email and yes incident updated this is out of the box incident when the incident is assigned to any group this is the out of the box notification ignore it ours is this it is coming up see the subject this is static text this is something we dragged the short description and it is replaced with send email which was the short description recipients are these alia and manohar email ids and uh, this is how it looks i will preview the html body this is a test mail regards service now team so friends that's the power of service now i didn't write anything i didn't use event registry event queue i didn't create any notification simply using a flow designer i was able to trigger an email to desired group that's how it is let us go back to the flow flow designer yeah i have a shortcut now 
open this. Yeah, I want to see its executions. Was it executed? Executions button, click. It will show us. It is complete. And if I open this, it will show me as per the actions. Trigger, completed. Send email action, completed. Here I can do troubleshooting what was completed and what was not completed. We can have more than one action. There can be n number of actions in a flow. Getting? So friends, this is all about flow designer chapter one. I'll be back soon with something new, doing a lookup without using a script. Okay, so performing a search, some, there is something called lookup in Flow Designer where we can do some client query without writing any script. So that's how it is. So till then, bye-bye, have a nice day. Thank you, take care. I'll end the meeting now.